hello everyone welcome back to wix ideas in this video we're going to be looking at tab navigation with wix menu now this is a tutorial where for example you have a section like this and you have a tab somewhere in that same page and you want to be able to click on any of the menu items for example let's click on the pilates and when you click on that it scrolls you to this section and then opens up pilates tab and let's say you want to open up bar for example you can also go ahead and click on bar and that will open up bar for you so we can also do the same thing but on a different page let's say you want to scroll them to a different page and you click on our mission you can notice how the url has changed and then a tab has also opened up i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step methods that you can use to add this feature to your website and if you're excited to join me please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and most importantly turn on that bell notification to be the first to know of my future videos now let's get started all right so this is the example templates that i'm going to be working on and the first thing i want to do is to add a section where i'm going to be adding my tabs so i'm going to head over to this section and click on add section I'm going to go ahead and add a blank section and once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and add my tab. So head over to add elements again, then you can head over to interactive and then go over to the boxes section. You're going to find the tabs. Now you can choose any tab that you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So I'm going to drag this and drop onto my section. Now, once that is all there, I can head over to my tools and open up my toolbar and then align this to the middle and also center it inside of my section now this is all looking good and these are the elements or the items i want to add to my menu so let's head back to our header and let's go over here and get rid of this button element and then we can add our menu item to our header so go over to add go over to the menu and anchor and you can head over to the horizontal menus so you can choose any of these ones but i'm just going to keep this simple and go with the first option so drag and drop this onto your column and i'm going to go ahead and change the settings of this menu and what i want to do is to set it as an advanced menu that means i can configure what it does and how it looks like separate from all other menus on the side so let's go ahead and set as advanced and over here you can see that i can control each of these items so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of each of these items amazing so let's just scroll back to this section that we created i'm just going to rename this section and call it tab so when you click on this section head over to this icon over here and rename this i'm going to rename this and call it tabs now this is all looking good let's head back to our header again and let's make sure that we add all of our tab items into our menu so go ahead and click on manage menu then scroll down to this section so we can also note what items we want to add the first item we want to add is yoga so click on add menu item head over to section and then over here you can choose which page that you want to choose a section from so this is still your home page we're going to select which of the sections that we want and we just renamed our section to tab so let's select the tabs and then we're going to rename this to yoga and then we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other two only thing is that we're going to rename them to their respective names on the tab so let's go ahead again and add our menu item then add section and then go over here go to tabs and also change the name to pilates and then again go back to add menu items go to sections go to tabs and then click on done and then rename this to bar now we are all done and we're about to start writing code for our website now to do that head over to the dev mode and turn on your dev mode now once that is turned on you can see that we have the velo sidebar and we also have a section to start writing in our codes so go over to this section and hide this sidebar and you can also maximize your code section we can get rid of these comments and then start naming our ids so let's first of all start with our header we can go over to our menu items and rename this over here to horizontal menu without the two and also do the same thing for the tabs click on the tabs and rename this to tabs alone without the one so let's go ahead again and maximize our section and the first thing that we want to do is to select our tab 
so let's use the we selector to select our tabs and then we want to get the list of all the tabs that we have so let's go ahead and click on tabs now the most important thing that we want to do is we want to add this to our constant so i'm just going to call this tabs but then i'm going to show you the structure of the tab so let's go ahead and add this to our console.log and then let's publish the site and view it on the live page great so now we are on a live page and what you want to do is to right click on your mouse and go over to inspect and then head over to console and as you can see we have an array of three items and that is exactly what we have here we have three items on our tabs and this is what contains the information of our tabs and what we're really interested in is the id of each of these tabs now i just clicked on the first one which starts with zero which is a zero base as since it's an array and over here you can see the id so we're going to make use of the id over here and for the second one which starts with one this is the id as well and then for the last one which is the third one this is the id as well and i'm able to know that this is the id for the third one because when you look into the property of the label here you can see that that is bar and the same thing goes with the other ones for example this one over here is pilates this is the id so we're going to keep this window open while we work on our page so what we want to do next since we know the ids of each of our tabs we want to add an unclick function to our menu items so head over to your menu and over here we know that the id is horizontal menu so copy that and bring that back to your code and let's use the wix selector to select that menu item all right so we've selected our menu item and next thing we want to do is to add an item click to our menu item that is when we click on an item we want to get the event of the item so let's go ahead and add an unclick function to this item and let's also get the event for the menu so we're going to get the information of what item was actually clicked and then we're going to get the label and then we're going to use the label to run a conditional statement in our code so here i'm going to create a variable called menu item and i'm going to assign this to the event dot item dot label so very quickly we're going to add this to our console.log so we can see the menu item and the information of the menu item that was clicked so let's go ahead and publish this and also view it on a live site all right so on the live site now and i've published my site when i click on yoga for example you can see that we have the label of the item menu item that was clicked and we click on pilates we have pilates label over here so this means it's working and we're about to start writing the conditional statement that automatically changes the tab or the active tab so for us to do that we're going just going to say if the menu item is equal equal to yoga then we want to change this tab over here so we're going to copy that selector for a tab and say change tab now the tab this is where we bring in the id of the particular tab we want to change to so if it is yoga we want to change it to yoga and remember we had our array here over here with the id of the tab so let's quickly copy this id for this particular tab and let's paste that right in there so we're done with the yoga and we're going to repeat this process for the rest of the tab so i'm just going to go ahead and highlight everything and for windows you can click on your shift and alt and then click on the down button to duplicate this once and then twice again when you click on the down button twice you can also check out the shortcut for your browser when you right click and go over to see all shortcuts and you can see all the shortcuts that you want to use so this is going to be the next phase for us we're going to check for the next one which is pilates so we're going to go ahead and add that pilates so that is the menu item if the menu item that was clicked was pilates we're going to get the id for pilates which is single tab one so we're going to change this to single tab one and finally if the menu item that was clicked was bar which is right here then we're going to change the id 
to single tab to so that is just how this works all right so once we've added the id we need to make sure that this is also selected as bar if bar is the item that was selected then we need to change to its id so let's publish our changes and then we're going to view these on the live site all right so we're here on our live site we're about to start testing these out and if we scroll down you can see that yoga was selected on our tab and if we click on pilates it's going to scroll us down to this section and pilates will be opened and if we scroll back up and click on bar you can see that bar was selected and the tab was opened so this is how you add it on a single page but let's say you want to click on a page and view it on another page and scroll to a section with the tab and automatically open the tab so before we actually get to that section we're going to go ahead and copy this section here let's copy this section and we can open up a page i'm just going to go with the uh, mission page and you can choose anywhere you want to paste that in so i'm just going to go ahead and paste that just right over here now you can bring that to the top and this is going to be where we want our tab to be as you can see the name is still tabs and so that means that we can add another menu option that goes to the our mission page and scrolls us down to this section so let's go ahead and manage menu go over to add menu and go to section and then here we can see our mission which is this page click on the section you want to select we need our tab section then click on done now you need to also rename this to call it our mission and that looks much better so now if we click on our mission it scrolls us down to this section but if you want to be able to change it for example to change it to pilates or bar then i'm going to share with you how to do that so in order to do that we need to write the code on a separate section which is the masterpage.js so you need to make sure that your dev mode is turned on to find the velo sidebar and click on the page code and head over to your master page.js so this is where you write a code that runs on all pages of your website and we're doing this because the site visitor could be on any page of the website and wants to scroll to that particular page of your website if you have a multi-page website so what we want to do next is to actually use something similar but a little bit different uh for what from what we have but first let us import our wix location and I'm going to share with you shortly why we're using our Wix location. And we are also going to be doing the on item clicked. So we're going to get our menu item and we're going to be getting the menu item clicked. All right. And then we are also going to add our event since we also need the event. So over here, we're going to write in our variable again, the same thing that we had previously, but here we're going to add our event.item.label. So yet still, we're trying to get the item that was clicked. And what we're going to ask again is if the menu item that was clicked was equal to uh, over here the label says our mission so we're just going to get that our mission label and then change what happens but in this case we're not going to be changing the tab what we're going to be doing instead of this is that we're going to use wix location uh, dot query parameters to actually add some parameters or query to our url and the purpose of doing this is so that we can take in the label and send it to the page where our mission is and use again the query to check what code was sent and use it to open a tab so let's do that quickly so that we can understand perfectly how this works so in the add function it takes in an object and it has a key and the key i want to call the key tabs and i'm going to call the value uh let's say our mission since that is the item menu that we are getting so what we want to do is when we click on it we're just going to add this particular query to our url so let's just publish this and see exactly what we're describing all right so we are here on our live sites and the page has loaded so when we click on our mission you can see the url just says tab navigation dash 
wi so when i click on our mission you can see that has taken us to our mission page and added this query to our url so this is what we are getting and what we want to do next is to head back to our mission page so this can be any page where your tab is so mine is on my mission page so i'm going to open up the code on my mission page and i'm going to go ahead and also import the wix location so import wix location and then we're going to get that particular url so whenever we land on our our mission page we're going to get what code this is whatever it is so if you have multiple items on different pages or different you to open a different tab entirely and you want to give it a different id you can also change what it says all right so what i want to do is to create another constant i'm going to call this menu query and i'm going to use the wix location dot query so this gives us the value of you know what we have here in our query so what i'm going to do next is to actually add this to console.log so you can have a look at how this looks like so just just say menu query and then let's publish this and see what options that we have so yet in this page since we have our query parameter over there we're just going to go ahead and open up our console.log so it's just uh, going to inspect and then going to console so when we refresh this particular page with our query over here you can see that we have an object that contains our query parameters so we have the tabs and we have our mission so in order for us to get that particular value which is our mission so we're just going to use a dot notation and what we're going to do is just to say that if the menu query dot tabs which is the key then we want to open or change our tab so if this tabs is equals equal to the value that we have here so if you have more options um, different things you know for example yoga or pilates it depends then this is how you get uh, the value that you're going to use for your conditional statement so if mine is equal to mission i choose to actually open up the pilates tab so let's head down to these tabs and get the id of the tabs and select the tabs and then we're going to change the tabs to the pilates tab so i'm not sure what tab this was but i can definitely get that from the home page since we still have the array over here so the pilates is number one and the label over here says pilates and the id is single tab one so we're just going to add this as single tab one so let's go ahead and publish our site and view again this section in the live site all right so we have just refreshed the page and when we go back to our mission you see we have this selected and as you can see that has changed the tab to a different thing so if you want to add a different tab or open a different tab you can definitely just go with bar for example and change the id to let's say i think bar was two so if we change this to two and just publish and view this on the live site just refresh the page now and this should probably take us or let's say let's just click that again all right so let's click that again you can see that that has taken us to bar so this is how you add a tab navigation using wix menu so if this tutorial was useful to you please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of my future videos and you can also let me know in the comment below which are the features that you really liked and if you have any thoughts on this let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to respond to you thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video